push. Four turnovers for Atlanta to match the four buckets. That's not exactly the ratio that you want to start. The pull-up is good for Copper. Copper and throughout the years, you know, the WNBA bubble as an example last year, an even greater way to unite the players and the coaches for that platform. And same starting lineups to begin the second half as both of these teams began the game with. Hebert with the kick out here to Copper who goes baseline and they'll count it. Continuation that time, Kalia Copper gets plus one. Copper reading the defense, recognizing she's got that quick first step, has an advantage as the defender comes out. Ruthie Hebert reading, sees the open man inside outside basketball. How about the focus, the finish, the balance it takes to finish that type of shot? My goodness, Kalia Copper. Well, Kalia Copper, do you think that, that the scoring when they're missing so many scoring pieces and Candace Parker and, and Allie Quigley even stepped up. Team. Uh, someone like Crystal Bradford joined the team in a training camp contract. Just making such a big impact with her size, length, offensively and defensively as Copper knocks down. Other than Watts, the regular starters in for Chicago. Duval taking the pass, turning and So she'll take any kind of friendly bounce that she can get from the rim. Seven seconds, shovel pass there to Stevens for T. Hayes, but the flow is there for the tree. Any team that can get the type of bench production that Atlanta was able to do in the first half, 19 bench points in the first half alone, that's only good for the longevity of a season. And Copper 